Cindy asked the question, um, in some building science circles, I have seen a tendency where people want to force 50% indoor RH regardless of the season for personal comfort. Is this still poor practice, even if using a perfect wall design in a new building? Well, there's no correlation for 50% 50 for comfort or for health. But if somebody wants 50%, we could make it work with the perfect wall and the perfect roof and the perfect foundation. Okay, hospitals are maintained at 50% relative humidity. Art galleries are maintained at 50% relative humidity. Data processing centers are maintained at 50% relative humidity. We try to reduce the relative humidity in indoor swimming pools to 50%. Those are the common places where we're talking about 50%. Um, I don't believe residential occupancy and office occupancy and commercial office space occupancy is necessary. And nor do I believe it from a health perspective based on the latest work, based on Stephanie Taylor's work. But hey, you know, when somebody says the art gallery's got to be at 50%, I, 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 I get it. So... Um, you might have heard about the Second World War. Um, everybody knew that Hitler was going to take over Europe. And what happened was is that the Churchill said, look, if we give up Sudetenland or whatever, that's just going to... Anyway, the British had an enormous amount of artwork. And they knew that the war was coming. So in 1939, they put most of their important artwork, their paintings, in salt mines. And the salt mines were, believe it or not, at 50% relative humidity, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And they were in the salt mines until 1948. And so from 1939 until 1948, the artwork was maintained under those constant conditions. And the, the art historians were absolutely amazed and impressed at, oh my God, this is the perfect condition for artwork. So that's where the artwork, 50% relative humidity, 75 degrees Fahrenheit came from. Believe it or not, the Smithsonian doesn't agree with that. They actually did different research and found that it could be as low as 35 or 40% as long as it was constant. So the Europeans have a different requirement for what's optimal for an art gallery than the Smithsonian. And what I'm trying to get at is the Smithsonian is believable because they actually did research. The British experience was they just simply put it, that just happened to be a convenient place for the stuff to end up. So what I'm saying is a lot of the stuff that we're asked to do is based on not research, but it's just what happened to be working under the time as a result of the, the circumstances that led us to having to live with that. So it was kind of funny because the Europeans don't let the Smithsonian show any of their artwork unless they change the relative humidity to 50% at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. There are some art galleries where they have a European number and they have an American number. So we've act I've actually been involved in saying that this part has to be maintained at a higher relative humidity temperature than, than this part. Um, so there you go.